Good day, my name is Justin Javis. I'm 26 years old from Ghana Gunme Aero. Uh, presently, I pursue a, an associate's degree in business management at the School and Business at UV Brightec. I also work as an administrative assistant through the OJT program in the Ministry of Agriculture, Rio Claro Demonstration Station, Nariva Mira County Office. I love reading, I love writing, I dance. Well, I'm a bit of a, a theatre person myself, so I dance, sing, full Broadway spectrum. Um, also, in a sense, I do sports, cricket, football, track and field, swimming. Growing up in Miaro, those were things we do every day, you know, beach football, swimming on the beach, those things. They also did a lot for me in terms of my development as a person, uh, coming from a coastal community, in a sense where agriculture and fishing is our main forms of income. I um, develop a passion for the environment, hiking, uh, sightseeing, also in terms of bird watching. I was also involved in community projects in terms of community beautification and um, tree planting initiatives also in a sense where we would also go into the forest and keep track of animal species um, records and track in terms of their migration, their mating, rituals, all these things. So growing up, I was someone deeply involved in community, deeply involved in um, environmental activities as well. So um, my disability is one in the physical sense. I am a bilateral double amputee, a uh, couple inches below my knees. Uh, my legs are, well, amputated. I, in 2019, I was diagnosed with a, um, but, uh, well, they, they call it a hemorrhage type um, disorder, a uh, condition known as vasculitis in a sense where the body mistakenly attacked itself. So in my instance, were well, my blood vessels, the platelets and also lymphocytes started to uh, clog and come together, thus causing blockage. Uh, it led to my legs slowly dying while still attached to my body. Um, well, I got amputated, like I said, I got amputated in 2019. And within the, with, not long after, because I spent a month in hospital, uh, not long after, I, I got fitted for prosthetics, which was something very fortunate in, for me. And also one of the reasons why it is I got back involved in community aspect is so they, that sense of giving back to persons. Because if persons didn't help me where I am, I wouldn't have been um, able to stand here today. So even through my journey, uh, it wasn't as smooth sailing as, as they think it would be uh, in the sense of um, getting accustomed to the whole idea that you know, my legs are no longer a part of me. Um, there were also a lot of uh, emotional and mental challenges coming to terms with the fact that, you know, I no longer have, I can no longer feel my tools. Uh, I, I, one thing I would say, um, phantom limb syndrome is a thing, right? Um, you do get that sense where you feel, you know, the tingling of the feet and all those things. I got those. There were a lot of financial challenges as well in the sense of um, prosthetics. The production and up maintenance of uh, prosthetic is not one that is, is, is cheap in a sense, right? Um, we, my family and I encountered challenges in terms of accumulating the, the funds for my prosthetics. Uh, in being that I had to get two prosthetics, two leg, um, leg type um, prosthetics, it came up to around $70,000. And um, though there are services and um, resources available to the public in terms of grants some community development and sponsorships and these things, it's also are uh, very time consuming and there's a red tape and paperwork that one must go through in order to be approved. So um, uh, coming back to me being fortunate enough where uh, thanks to the, the, my involvement in community aspects, uh, I was sponsored by a member of the Chantwego Defence Force and that also inspired me in a sense to be of one that could be in a position to help someone as well and also be able to contribute to society and also make these things less expensive, <laughs> right? Because I've met, a, through my journey, I've met a lot of persons who are um, amputees and they, they don't have the resources or even have a way to start to get the resources, to get the prosthetics. And I would like to be in a position where I could assist these persons in some form or fashion. As a person with disabilities, you know, knowing that this, uh, being a, a differently able person, because I, 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 I dis I greatly dislike the word um, disabled or uh, in a sense crippled. So as a differently able person, because we are all differently able in some form or fashion, and 
We also bear in mind that disabilities come in very various forms. There's physical, there are mental, educational, emotional disabilities. So I would say as a person with a physical disability, to any, to any person with any disability, don't let that stop you. Don't let nobody tell you that you cannot do something. Don't let nobody tell you that you can no longer do this. Don't let anybody tell you, well, look at the situation here now. Don't, don't ever take those words to heart. Always know that life is, you have life, first and foremost, right? Once you can get up every day, every day is a new opportunity, every day is a chance to make something of yourself. Every day is a chance to move further in life. So do not limit yourself, do not let people's words limit you and aspire to be anything that you can be. You are still a person, you are still a human being. You can still achieve your dreams, you can still achieve your goals. It may take time, but in life, everything takes time. And it's also, uh, it's something I, I learned personally because I was a, a go-getter type of person. If I do this, I'm do it now. And with this, this was a life changing experience for me. And I learned patience, I learned temperance, I learned courage in a sense that too, because even as, as an average person, you can still have, be, have, be cautious, be hesitant. I learned to put myself out there even more because I gained the encouragement of my friends and my family. And even if you may not have that support system, because everybody's life is different, even if you may not have that support system, bear, keep knowing that because you are here still, that is your main motivation. You are here still and you can still achieve something in this life. And my message to persons with all disabilities, try to be a bit more compassionate. Try to be more understanding of persons, because even though you are a physically able person, you may have a mental disability or a learning disability that you may not be sure of. So you, you would not want to be judged or looked down upon because you are different. So do not treat other persons as such. We are still people, we are still human beings. Everyone is entitled to respect and love in this world. And as much as you would like to be loved, you should give love to other persons as well. So uh, my name is Justin Javis. <laughs> Thank you for listening to my message. And in commemoration of the International Day for Persons with Disabilities, I would say keep moving forward and keep going forward.